are there some good best practices I could use to av- for avoiding target leakage, right? And one of them is, what is my default partitioning scheme, right? When I get the data, right, we, we talked about the issues with the random, how can I do it? Well, I think kind of the general best practice for data science is to use a technique called nested cross-validation, where what you do is when you partition your data, you're making sure that you kind of break this up into, I don't know if I can defi- sufficiently define nested crawl into kind of different folds. But what we want to do is make sure there's different data that we're using for both the validation as well as the hyperparameter tuning of the models. That's another subtle thing that can come into play. So this is where kind of I, for folks that aren't new, I just have them set, right? Nested cross validation is the default. It's a pain in the butt to code up, but it's kind of gets you in the best place. But Kind of like we said with the aftershocks, that's not 100% bulletproof. I mean, this is where you still want to have folks that understand a little bit about data science and have been burned and are just very skeptical. I think one of the the takeaways is always to be skeptical of your model and its performance and think about what else could it be that's going wrong. Because (laughs) otherwise it's going to happen when you go to move it to production. 